Hello everyone, I'm Dan Philgreen, and this is Shell Point Today for Tuesday, March 11th. On today's show, we travel to Africa for the latest edition of Global Outreach. We'll also visit the What's Cooking Kitchen to get a dual recipe for garlic bread and cauliflower casserole. But first, a few Tuesday headlines. If you saw our Dragon Boat story and might be interested in participating in Shell Point's 2014 Dragon Boat team, then attend an informational meeting this morning at 10 a.m. in the Grand Cypress Room at the Woodlands. This afternoon, learn from three Shell Point doctors what it takes to be a successful single. Nancy Spencer, Carol Clark, and Sue Stranahan are presenting an academy class called Living Solo. It's at 115 in the Social Center on the island, and all are welcome. And then at 215, it's time to head for the pool for a Hawaiian celebration. Here's Leslie Brand with a preview. We have beautiful sun shining down and the trees blowing in the wind. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better day. And you know what? I've heard so much from residents about how they're having such a wonderful day today that we decided to do another event, Hawaiian party this time. So we're going to have a hula dancer. So you'll be, you've never been to Hawaii. This is your time to come on out. We'll have a steel drum player. We'll have food, snack food from Hawaii. We'll have lays everywhere. We'll have grass skirts, anything you could even think of. And this event is free, so you can come and go as you please. It's going to start at 2.15 on March 11th. So make sure you come on and stop by and make sure you're in the Hawaiian, get your Hawaiian shirt on. I'll have a lay for you and we'll have a great time. In the mood for some more tropical fun? We've got a whimsical tropical event tomorrow called the Fruit Box Derby. It's kind of like the soapbox derby where you build cars and race them down a hill, except here you're building the cars out of just fruit and toothpicks. Think you've got the imagination and engineering skill? Then come watch or participate in the fruit box derby tomorrow at 2.15 p.m. in the social center on the island. Also tomorrow, the village church is hosting an event focusing on health in Africa. Rosanna Hess is a nurse who travels to Africa conducting studies and most recently was at the Hospital for Women and Children in Mali, West Africa. Learn more at the next Global Outreach happening tomorrow at 10.15 a.m. in the Church Hospitality Room. Dottie Morrison has this preview. Hello, I'm Dottie Morrison, and I'm here with Dr. Rosanna Hess, who's going to be our speaker this Wednesday at the Global Outreach meeting. Welcome, Rosanna. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, in 2005, you founded an organization called Research for Health. Would you tell me a little bit about that organization? Well, it's a nonprofit organization, what we call some places a non governmental organization, NGO. And it's, we founded it to do research in especially developing countries, uh, knowing that there was a need in, that, in different parts of the world for research and understanding what's happening in healthcare. I was a missionary with the Christian Missionary Alliance for almost 20 years. I worked in Gabon, that's yes. equatorial Africa, mm -hmm. and mostly 10 years of that at the Bongolo Hospital right. and right. lots of other places, uh -huh. several other places. I always was fascinated by why do people do this? Why, why do they act this way and you know, what's in their culture and those kinds of things. In terms of health choices yes. and that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why they did or didn't do things right. Um, right. related to their culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this company was founded eight years ago. Uh, in what way have the goals changed or has the focus changed in that time? Mostly the focus hasn't changed. It's primarily the same thing. Uh, we've added a few pieces. Um, we do some consultant work uh, in the United States, and sometimes that is to give us some income okay. funding that we, money that we pour back into the organization okay. to do our overseas trips. And what are some specific concerns you have? I think HIV research might be one of them. We've done some of that. Um, Initially, mm -hmm. we did that in Mali. We've done that in Gabon, some mm -hmm. uh, studies related to HIV AIDS. But we're also doing a lot related to women's health. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that ties into your recent trip to the Kutiala Hospital for Women and Children in Mali. Mm -hmm. Now, we're familiar with that hospital here because mm -hmm. our former pastor, Ken Nesselrode's son, Dan, mm -hmm. has worked there for many years. Uh, but you were there in January, so what's happening there and why are you involved in that particular hospital? Well, that 
was that has been our main focus. I that, see. that particular uh, hospital and the staff there, people who ask us, doctors and nurses who ask us about um, various research projects, could we help them do those? Okay. Da with Dan, with Dr. Dan Nesselrode, we've mm -hmm. done a project on um, postpartum hemorrhage. Mm -hmm. uh, we've finished one, and the focus of this recent trip was. Uh, infertility study. One of the doctors that's there on staff is an infertility specialist and so he asked that we do a study on infertility among Mali and women. Okay. And um, so we've done several things, a, a number of studies for the hospital. So your research comes out of needs that they see right on the ground. Exactly. There. That's okay. primarily what what we do is when they come to us with an idea, uh -huh. uh, can you do or uh, find out about this, answer this research question, we either help them set it up or we actually hire somebody or we do the, ourselves the research data collection, the surveys, sure. do the analysis and then write a report. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a lot of medical people and, form, and scientists, people that have worked in those professional areas in the past here at Shell Point, uh -huh. so I would imagine that your work is something that what a lot of people will be interested in hearing about. So we'll look forward to hearing a lot more this Wednesday okay, at the Global Outreach so. Meeting. Right. So we hope to see you Wednesday at 10.15 in the hospitality room. Uh, there are refreshments that will be served at 10 o'clock. If you have a particular interest in the health needs of countries like Mali, I'm sure you'll be interested in hearing more of what Dr. Hess has to say. We'll see you there. We'd like to take a moment to let you know about a special event open to all, the Assisted Living Spring Open House and Tour. Learn from Rita Southern the details of how you can access assisted living when you need it, and also enjoy a light continental breakfast. Then go on a tour, including sneak peeks at a number of residential apartments, as well as taking time to mingle with Shell Point's Assisted Living Ambassadors. This is a perfect time to get all your assisted living questions answered by both staff and residents, and to tour the King's Crown, the Arbor, or both. The event is free, but seating is limited. Please call 454-2077 to RSVP today. The King's Crown Tour is next Tuesday, March 18th at 10 a.m. in the King's Crown Community Room, and the Arbor's Tour takes place on March 25th. Once again, to sign up, call 454-2077. Now, the great thing about King's Crown and the Arbor is that you never have to worry about making another meal, unless you want to. If you still love cooking, we've got some inspiration for you today. Gaz Goslin and Ruth Duber have a two-fold recipe, including cauliflower casserole and garlic bread to serve with it in today's What's Cooking. Hello, this is What's Cooking at Shell Point. I'm Ruth Duber, and I have a gentleman with me today, Gaz Goslin. Uh, we've done a couple shows together, and uh, I just like the fact that, that gentlemen do cook, <laughs> and so I asked him to do a couple things for me today, and I think you'll enjoy them. So the first thing you're gonna do is garlic bread. Right. Okay, all righty, Thank go you, right Ruth. ahead. Uh -huh. uh, it's a fairly easy recipe. And you can see I've measured out uh, the ingredients already and Italian bread. And it's only sliced part way through. You don't want to slice it all the way through so it holds together when it's in the oven. And now I'm ready to mix everything. Here's your melted butter. And I need a tablespoon of olive oil a half a teaspoon of salt, which I have already pre-measured, four garlic cloves, which I have already minced, and then a tablespoon of basil. Actually, I have two tablespoons because I like the flavor, added flavor, and I've added two tablespoons of parsley. and the Parmesan cheese, four tablespoons. Mix all that together. I like to lather one side of the bread.
Look at that. Comes out just about right there. Yeah, about that. I think you've done this before. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, anything with butter is delicious. <laughs> You're right, I'm afraid. <laughs> you wrap it up tightly into foil. goes in a 350 oven for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then at some point you unwrap it yes. and then do it for another five. I'll watch the oven. All right. We're going to do another recipe. So give us just a minute and we'll start that. Okay. And it's ready to go. While the br uh, bread is baking, I wanted to share a little trick with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, when I went to cooking school, they taught me to, to chop uh, parsley and, and basil with a knife. Mm -hmm. And the parsley... That's what I learned. Well, <laughs> I finally started using scissors. I take the bay leaf and I, I slit it halfway, oh, the lengthwise, leaf. Not the bay leaf. and then I take it and I, I cut it up with scissors okay. rather than use the knife. And I do the same thing with the parsley. Okay. And it doesn't jump all over the place when okay. you're chopping it. Right. Okay. It works okay. great. Oh, ho, 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 does that smell good. Now I'm leaving the oven on because we need another right. five minutes. Exactly. You want to open it up? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we have enough for your whole court. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it back in the oven sure. now. Okay. And I'll set the timer for another five minutes while we get ready to do the other part of our show. And start. I had a conversation with you one time and I asked you for some more recipes and um, you have said I have one that has cauliflower in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's white and we're told to eat greens, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked it up on the internet and cauliflower really has um, lots of benefits. It contains fiber, vitamin B, potassium and phosphorus. The head is called a curd. It's a bunch of undeveloped flowers, really. Mm. And the coarse outer leaves protect the head, and that's why it doesn't turn green. Uh, you think of broccoli, yes. you know, that's exposed. To the sun. And it turns green. Sure. And so cauliflower is just as good for you. And so we we'll do different ways to do cauliflower. Very Since good. it's it's not green, but it works. Okay, Wonderful. you want to talk about your recipe? I certainly will. <laughs> uh, this is cauliflower tomato and feta cheese casserole. Part of it is uh, done on the stove, and then the remaining part of the baking goes in the oven. Oh, I need this. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? No. <laughs> Wish we had smell-o-vision, for sure. Okay, while well that's cooling so that we can eat it, you can go ahead with your cauliflower. All right. We need two tablespoons of olive oil into a preheated pan. And we saute the onions. And the garlic. You saute this for three or four minutes until the onions have softened. You don't want to overdo it because you can burn the garlic. You then add your tomatoes. A pinch of cinnamon.
tablespoon and a half of oregano, a pinch or two of salt, stir, and cover and simmer for five minutes. Once the five minutes is up, This was an exceptionally large head of cauliflower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah. As you can see. And we need to cover and simmer for a further 10 okay. minutes. That's you pour it into a casserole. and you drizzle one tablespoon of lemon juice over the top. One tablespoon of olive oil. And then top it with the feta cheese. That then goes into a 375 oven and bake for 40 minutes. Here's what it looks like when it's finished, and so we're going to put some on the on the plate. You want to you want to bake it so that it looks like that. Some of the cauliflower is browned up a little bit, and the cheese has melted slightly. And now tear us a couple pieces of bread there, guys. All right. Oh my goodness. Is that too big good for you, Ruth? Yes, it is. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I need a smaller piece. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It looks so it's good. It's just falling apart. Yeah, it's falling apart. Okay. I'm going to take that. Let's taste the cauliflower. <laughs> mm. What do you think? That's a delightful flavor combination. Mm. Mm. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah. It's fabulous. This is, this is a meal. You don't even have to have meat. You've got everything you need with the bread and the cauliflower and the feta cheese. Oh, this is a winner, guys. And good company. Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll put it up on the website. We hope you'll try it. Bye-bye. Bye. Mm. Thank you. You can find this and many other recipes on our website www.shellpoint.net. Just click on the tab that says Media and you'll find links to what's cooking as well as Shellpoint TV and Shellpoint Life. It's available anywhere, anytime, 24 hours a day. Now let's find out what to expect this fine Tuesday from Resort Services. Then stay tuned for your Academy News, Menus, and Village Church Connections. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us to the happening segment of Shellpoint TV. My name is Leslie Brand and I'm here with Bev Chanley and we are here to tell you what's going on today on Tuesday. We're going to start bright and early at 7.15. We have a Health Connections, Bend, Breathe and Balance at the Health Club. 8 o'clock is the Round Robin Doubles Tennis at the Tennis Courts. 8.15, Stamp Ministry in the Stamp Room on the Island. 8.30 is the Ladies Golf Association of the Shell Point Golf Club. 9 o'clock, bocce at the bocce courts at the Woodlands. 9.15 is open painting in the art studio on the island. 9.30 is the match play mixed doubles tennis at the tennis courts at the Woodlands. 10 o'clock, we have the Dragon Boat informational meeting in the Grand Cypress Room. 10.15, through the Bible in the Osprey Room. And the Susie Q is going out to Rum Runners for lunch at 11 o'clock. Sign up is required. 11.45, we have a Health Connections Living Healthy in the Osprey Room on the island. Now here's Bev to tell you about the afternoon activities for today. 
Thanks, Leslie. At 1230, we have Mixed Progressive Bridge. That's in the game room of the Woodlands. 115, we have the Knitters Group in the Osprey Room. Also, at 115, we have Shuffleboard at the Shuffleboard Courts. 115 is also the time for the Rollicking Recorderists. They'll be in the Tarpon Room down in the tunnel. And our last 115 activity is the Women's Ministries Prayer Group in the Hospitality Room of the Village Church. At 1.30, the Stamp Ministry meets in the Sable Room down at the Woodlands. We'll go to 2.15 for the Hawaiian Celebration. At 2.45, we have Health Connections Class Balance and Mobility Training Level 2. That's in the Health Club. Currently, that's full. Our last activity is at 3.15 with the Celebration Ringers Rehearsal at the Choir Room of the Village Church. We're so glad you joined us today, and we will be back here again tomorrow. Hello, I'm Terry Kolath with your Academy Information for Tuesday. At 9.15, we have Safe and Secure Personal Computing taking place in the Computer Teaching Center on the island. At 10.15, an Apple iPad Tips and Techniques course in the Manatee Room on the island. And at 1.15, After Prep School Basics in the Computer Teaching Center on the island. At 1.15, our holistic look at singles living solo. This will take place in the social center on the island. At 1.15, a technology course, Security, Password Protection, Keychain. This will take place in the Manatee Room on the island, and sign up is required. At 4.30, the Alpha course continues in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands for those who have registered. I'd like to take a moment to talk about the Pavilion Auxiliary. If you enjoy spending time with others, we have just the volunteer opportunities for you in the Larson Pavilion. Our birthday committee takes a card and a rose to each Pavilion resident on their birthday. What could be more fun than that? Our greeter desk greets each person that comes into the front door of the Larson Pavilion. There are several days available, both mornings and afternoons. Each concierge committee has openings. Duties vary by floor, but they all serve with staff to enhance the lives of our pavilion residents. Please call me for more information about these opportunities and more. Menus for Tuesday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is grilled shrimp with quinoa salad. The dinner special is the build your own stir fry bar for $12.95, and the soup of the day is cream of mushroom. In the Island Cafe for lunch on Tuesday, enjoy a turkey club with chips for $7.25. The dinner special is grilled catfish with fried potatoes and three bean salad for $8.25. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill are swordfish for $15.95 or ribeye and shrimp for $20.95. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Spring break is here, and college students and professors are coming to Shell Point. Hi, I'm Randy Woods, and I'm especially pleased to be with you today to announce that the college students and professors are coming to Shell Point. That's right. As part of the Season of Praise concert series presented by the Village Church, next Wednesday on March 12th, we will welcome the Wheaton College Concert Choir, direct from the frigid white Northlands. With the energy and zeal of youth, the Wheaton Concert Choir, directed by Dr. John Trotter, will perform an exceptional inspirational concert of traditional classical and contemporary choral music on Wednesday, March 12th at 7.15. It's always good to have students on campus. I'm especially pleased for us to host the Wheaton College Concert Choir this season. The motto for the Wheaton College Choir has been the statement by Johann Sebastian Bach. Music's only purpose should be for the glory of God and the recreation of the human spirit. In accordance with this motto, the concert choir's tradition has been skillful performance of the highest quality repertoire through disciplined, rigorous rehearsal and commitment to the choir's artistic and spiritual goals. The choir is open to all Wheaton students, regardless of major or classification, and membership is based on vocal talent, skill at reading music, personal character, and eagerness to help the choir achieve success. Many of the singers in this choir have experience in excellent choral programs and have especially been involved in all-state or honors choirs. 
But with sunshine and sand all around us, college students and professors headed our way. Be sure to get your tickets for this very special inspirational concert. The Wheaton College Concert Choir on Wednesday, March 12th at 7.15 p.m. The Village Church is pleased to present the inspirational Season of Praise concert series. All concerts require the purchase of a non-refundable $10 ticket. And tickets are available at the church office during regular business hours. And tickets are also available at www.shellpoint.org forward slash Season of Praise. For more information, call the church office at 239-454-2147. It's spring break. Don't miss out on the energy, the zeal of youth as the Village Church welcomes the students and professors to our community as they share their ministry and song in our Season of Praise concert series. We're glad you joined us for today's show. Tune in tomorrow as Tim Lockridge tells us about a new contract opportunity that will only be available for a short time. We'll also take a tour of the beautifully decorated new home in Palm Acres, a sample of the homes to be built in our new neighborhood, the Estuary. Until then, this is Shell Point Today for Tuesday, March 11th. I'm Dan Philgreen, and from all of us here at Shell Point TV, we hope you have a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.